what are we doing here, and where are we gonna go it's like we just woke up one morning, and then it's welcome to the show don't ask any questions just go with the flow make as much money as you can, and try your best not to get broke copy everything you see on TV, from a hairstyles to the clothes and don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told and if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol you still hear thoughts? Then just turn up the Roddy O as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll but in all honesty, I just need to know is there more to the cycle than owing and getting owed living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that just somebody else is gonna own I just really need to know before the casket gets closed because I'm not willing to gamble with my soul. Nor am I ready to take any chances these are just simple life questions and I am just searching for some answers like what are we doing here? What is our purpose? How did we get here and who made us so perfect? Or what happens once we go, for is this world really worth it? Questions we don't answer, because apparently we don't really have to there's no purpose to this life and our existence it's merely natural then in that case please let me ask you did you create yourself? Or was it somebody else who had fashioned you? Cause you're a being that's impeccable, for less than unparalleled you're a product of supreme intelligence, and are merely being irrational for there isn't a camera on this earth that has come close to the human eye nor a computer that can compete alongside a human mind and if the whole world was to come together, we wouldn't be able to create a single fly so many signs yet we still deny science tries to justify that all this could come from none when it's a simple sum, zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one so from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own I mean the only reason you're watching this video because somebody had to press upload so we can believe in the big bang but I would rather believe in he who caused it to explode Allah. The creator of everything along with every single soul the ever living, the master, the only one who is in control unlike his creation beyond our imagination and no. He's not a man nor does he has any partners in association, he's on his own and no he did not ever leave us alone just like every manufacturer. He left us with an instruction manual the Quran and Islam and I'm sorry to jump to conclusion but it's the only one possible the only definition of God is the one and only supreme being. It's logical, a book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical all are viewed over 1400 years ago like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century, a scientist in the video. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below and the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow to the planets in orbit, alternating night and day as they stay in flow the expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O to the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh too and not a word has changed, it's still the same. So please explain how all this was known? Over 1400 years ago, to a man who couldn't read or write, as he would recite whatever the angels spoke and if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close but you can't. So we took God as a mockery and his messenger as a joke dismiss these scriptures and legends and the tales of the ancient folk, as we live life according to our whims, desires and hopes saying this life is the only home we would ever know. We will live and die and simply turn to bones YOLO. Correction. After the grass dies, the rain arrives and it regrows and Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul and bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes as the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close. And we are surely being tested in our wealth, our health, in our self and everything that we've been blessed with so believe for we will surely be resurrected and be brought back to our Lord and account for every single deed as he hands us our books, of our deeds in this world, and orders us to read. From the bad to the good and everything in between you yourself was sufficient for your own accountability so don't be mad at me, you were the one who thought who wouldn't come back to me I gave you a whole life long to search after me, but you were busy in all that which was temporary so read. And glad tidings to all those who believe. Then if you disbelieve, read. 